Hey guys, this is GamerGX, and we are back with a Let's Play video. And, um, I don't know, I was um, looking through um, one of my magazines here, PlayStation Official Magazine, and I found this little letter here about Heavy Rain, and um, it actually got the letter, letter of the month, and I thought I'd... I thought it'd be kind of cool if I read it to you guys, but um, I'll do that in a couple of minutes here. Um, just gonna introduce the video and crap like that, so uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, last video, uh, fuck, what did we do? Uh, I'm pretty sure we were Norman so Jaden and we fought Mad Lord Jack, beat the living shit out of him, and he got crushed by sense. by a bulldozer. How awkward, eh? Guts to us. Um, so yeah, anyway, so now we're back. Cream, Scott right? Shelby and Lauren, very oh, boring. Um, this is the only reason why I'm pretty much Gordy I'm reading this letter to you guys, because I don't like this part of the game. I don't really have much to talk about in these kind of parts of the game, and I don't really want to talk about them, because I find them boring. So, on that note, okay, I guess I'll read you this little letter here. Are these files on the case? And it is entitled, um... Uh, Letter of the Month, the Heavy Man, Really Heavy. Magazines okay, about I read your preview for Heavy Rain, January 2010, issue 44, blah blah. If he was and I think the part I like the most the is the fact years, that if your character dies, he or somewhere. she is gone for good. Is over for the rest of the names. game, they're never coming back ever. I love there I'm being starving. consequences consequences for your actions because well, that no just chef, seems right. But I, should be able to make I spent last weekend playing Fallout 3 and then read a fact about playing on the very hard difficulty so setting and it seemed too to heartless. Is it okay when I play Fallout, it's an extension of my life. Be my I in act in the game how I would act in real life. Store. I never blew up Megaton I'll for the fun of it. I did. There are a lot of people there. I didn't let the ghouls kill everyone. I did. And Tenpenny Tower. They might not deserve it, but they're still innocent until proven guilty. I did become a regulator as soon as possible because I'm killing the bad guys anyway, so why not get paid for it, blah blah. Okay. I remember hearing that there was a 17-year-old kid that murdered a taxi driver because he was imitating Grand Theft Auto gameplay. I think I know why. GTA lacks any consequence because that person you just ran over hat never had a name, never made an impact on gameplay whatsoever, and you don't really get to pun you don't really get punished for killing him. With the release of Heavy Rain, it seems like people will have a have to stop just playing a game and really put thought into what they're doing. Maybe if we're punished for poor choices in games, we'll better understand the consequences of our actions in real life. Well, I like that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, oh yeah, by the way, what's going on in this thing right here? If you can make this omelet properly, then you get a trophy for it. Just thought I'd throw that in there. I'm not really looking at the screen right now. I'm just reading this letter. Um... Let's see here, and the response from the magazine was Very introspective, Peter. While there's something to be said for doing things that you can't in real life, and knowing the difference between fantasy and reality, we agree that game affecting consequences add satisfying layers of depth and complexity to the experience. You're our letter of the month, and blah. It should be ready by now. Right. Okay, so I thought that was a pretty interesting kind of comment he did about the game. And I like what he said, you know, it's not bad, it's not, uh, it's kind of true, I guess. Um, in my opinion, I don't take anything from games seriously. Um, it's just a game, so why would anyone take a game seriously and do the stuff in a video game in real life, like Grand Theft Auto shit like that? I think that's completely insane. And, um, it's a very small, small, small population of people that actually take games seriously for real I life. You think that's real, and that if they did it What's in real life, there's you? no consequences to such. But in GTA, that is true, hey, there isn't a lot of consequences, and there's not real... You don't really feel, What's that? um, the like, I took from there's place. anything wrong with what you're doing. You're just running According over people, this, killing all these people. They don't have names. They don't make an impact on the game, like you said. So you just kill them, because the they they're world. not real people. But if you did that in oh, real life, know, you're killing out, someone that clients, has an impact one. on a lot of people's lives and everything. So, I don't know, put it that way. I don't know, it's fucking... I don't know, I feel like an idiot talking about this. I'm like preaching to the choir, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't usually talk about stuff like this, but you still got that, I just right? thought, you know, it's yeah, a heavy rain letter. Yeah, it makes sense wait. to talk about it in my in a episode or something. And also in this, uh, in here they have the heavy rain review in this magazine, and they gave it a 5 it's out of 5. Really mm -hmm. used Though it's not exactly, I wouldn't call it a 5 out of 5 game, game, but it is definitely a very unique game, and it well, definitely scores huge or, points for that. I, I mean, that's um, just an assumption, but... I really, really want to get an integral yeah, project, because it's like... Made by the same company, and that's kind of like a similar somewhere. game to this. Help Very good story and interactive you. and crap like that, so... Wouldn't mind trying to track that game down someday. But I got a lot to play nowadays. <laughs> uh, what else did they review in this game? White Knight Chronicles. 
three out of five. It's like a little comic book. And oh yeah, they did Bioshock 2 in this one too. Uh, that's a five out of five. Yeah, I guess it is, eh? Bioshock 2 was a good game. I only beat it once, but I'm definitely going to go back to it someday. I don't think I'd ever LP that game. I doubt it. Alright. So you guys might have seen my Q&A on my channel. Like I said, throw a question at me and I'll answer it in the another video. On both lists died I'd be when very appreciative if you guys want to know what I want to sure learn dead. anything about I me. That's the best way to do it. Sense. Now, unless the killer was only using right. his name. Okay, so I'm gonna put the magazine away. Okay, so now we're at this uh, fucking cemetery and we're John looking Shepherd. for a certain name, John Shepard. And you can just tell that Scott Shelby doesn't want to be here. There's he something wrong with him now. He just kind of seems like he's giving up on um, the case now. He just doesn't seem like he wants to do anything. And Lauren is going way too ahead of herself and great. crap like that. So you know, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Hmm, right. So I actually cannot find the grave me, here, but, um, don't mind me, I'm just doing my thing. Don't, don't bother the old lady, she yeah, doesn't want to well. be bugged. I hate cemeteries. Um, there's actually, if you just go down the other way, like, go towards where that guy is walking right now, uh, you'll find a grave digger guy, and you ask him where he is, and then he'll tell you where he is, and eventually Lauren does find her, find the grave for you, so Excuse that's fine. Me. I'm looking for the grave yeah, I think of a young she, boy who died about she talking 30 to the old years lady, ago. Or His name was John Shepard. John Shepard. Yeah, you wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's and graves are in yeah, the next she's, slot. Yeah, she's... It's a child, too, so that really doesn't make sense if it's a child. So, John Shepard's a child we're looking for. So this is interesting. So I'm just checking every damn grave and I can't find it because I'm nowhere near the damn grave in the first place. Gee! Uh, cool. Okay, cool. Ugh. I'm still tired today. Hmm. It is hot down in Canada. It is hot and humid and nasty. I don't like it anymore. Summer is... Fuck, man, we're already in August. This is ridiculous. Wow. God, there's just no time in the world nowadays. Already feels like I gotta go back to school and, like, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Don't wanna go back to school. School's lame. God, can I not find this damn grave? I should have found it ten minutes ago, for God's sakes. You're wasting valuable time. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Yeah, it is cold oh, and raining, but not over here. It is actually sunny and clear. And hot. Find the grave, God damn it! I'm getting bored. Eh. Should have saved that article for later. I could have read it now. Now there's nothing to talk about at all. And, of course, that was the only trophy for this game. For this um, episode, my bad. For the game. Yeah, one trophy for the whole game. Alright. Okay, so there's a grave digger guy. Excuse He'll me. tell you where he is. I'm looking and then, of for course, the when I finally asked the guy, she fucking Gave finds John him. Shepherd. She Straight finds him. Straight in here. Down. 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 There you go. Creepy. I would hate that job. Digging graves in a graveyard all day and seeing I dead bodies it. and crap. It's such a bad job. Okay. So she found him finally. So what do we got? Uh, flowers these are flowers fresh. are fresh. How would you know that? Looks like someone's Looks still like tending someone's to the grave. Still the grave. And that is true. There is someone still tending to the grave. What do we got here? Is that an origami, origami figure? Figures. Origami figures. Ooh. That's one hell of a coincidence. That is one hell of a coincidence. You're right. You're right. So that's that's a pr pretty big clue right there. Oh, youngin. Oh God. That here we one, go. I knew well. You knew John Shepard? No. Knew you didn't. I've worked this grave Great, we're gonna have to hear a long story life. from this guy. I remember we're gonna have to play a, a kind of odd section of the game where we're gonna have to play October. as John Shepard. Because it's like an interactive story. We are we are the story. And there's, oh wait, no, Dad, there is one more trophy for this yeah, part, but it's not in this episode. But okay, I'll just talk about it in the next episode because it's not in this episode, so it doesn't make sense. So we got some keys. Got some new keys. Their dad's drunk and kicked them out of the house. Well, that's nice. He's drunk again. Yes, he is. It's what very are we evident. Do? It's pouring rain. So that's okay, John Shepard, I think, there in the brown bats. coat, if I'm correct. I don't know. Well, this won't get beat. Rain yeah, you guys won't get beat. That's key. That's Come key. On, let's go play. Yes. Right. Well, do something. Bet you can't catch me. 
Fuck you, I can catch you. But not in this episode, because we're gonna have to continue it in the next episode. So be sure to check it out, it'll be up as soon as I possibly can. So thanks for watching.